Uh, let's go back to the news that people are to be allowed to rent out their driveways for parking. That's without having to seek planning permission. Joining me in the studio is Anthony S. Say it for me, Anthony. Eskenazi. Eskenazi, fantastic. The founder of the website parkatmyhouse.com. Always, right. always good to get it right. Um, what happens at the moment if people want to rent out their driveway? Fine, so if you want to rent out your parking space, you'd find you'd go onto a website like Park at My House. You'd list it for rent, you'd choose a price, give it a description, tell us obviously where it is, and we'd list it for rent, and we have over half a million drivers looking for parking. But you need planning permission to do that? So at the moment, it's really unclear, and this is what's great about what Eric Pickles has said. He's actually added some certainty to the situation. You know, renting out a one drive one driveway, I don't know how that can be classed as sort of a, cha a material change of use of your property. You're not turning your home into a car park. You're just looking, you're becoming a mini entrepreneur to try and make a bit of extra money from your property. And for those who might be looking for somewhere to park, sure. is this a cheaper option than going to, say, a normal car park? Sure. So parking spaces on driveways tend to be between 50 and 70 percent cheaper than your traditional car park or meter. So people are using it around airports, where it is definitely around 70% cheaper, around sports stadia, and the benefits of sports stadia allow you to leave the game, you don't need to leave the game early to avoid the huge rush in a car park. You, if you're parked on a driveway, you can obviously make a quick getaway, and it also tends to be a bit cheaper as well. Is this not a bit of a cop out though, by the government in a way, but for not providing A, an adequate amount of parking, and B, an adequate amount of economical parking? It's really difficult. You know, you look at the high street, and the reason I don't really shop on my high street is because I know parking is going to be a nightmare. Probably expensive. I may get a parking ticket if I if I'm delayed by five ten minutes. And also, there's a lack of supply. So what we're doing is we're we're basically increasing that supply, increasing choice, and therefore bringing down price as well. And it's a win-win not just for homeowners and drivers, but also hopefully the local economy because hopefully more people will go back to the high street and shop because you know parking doesn't need to be a nightmare anymore. And a lot of people obviously are interested in renting out their driveways. Yeah. So we've been around actually since 2006. That's when the company started. We have around 20,000 parking locations around the country and over 400,000 registered customers using our service to find parking at the moment. It's not though high street parking, is it? It's those other aspects that you were talking about, maybe commuters wanting to be near their office. Correct. So we have obviously commuters, we've got people parking near sports stadiums, airports. King's Cross Station is a great example of people going to the Eurostar. There's a church there actually who is renting out uh, eight spaces. That church has made over 200 grand mm. by renting out their parking spaces. So it's not just homeowners, it's also small businesses which may need the extra cash, churches, schools, it's anywhere, anyone really. And under the current regulations, so what are the stipulations? So can you have one car or if you go into say three or four cars, are you then a car park? Sure, or so it hasn't, it's never been defined. So Eric, Eric Pickles has actually started that conversation and we're hopefully going to engage with local government and, and central government now to actually define those rules because we feel you know, one car, you're not a car park, two cars, three cars, still you know, plenty of driveways have two or three car parking spaces. But what if people want to start sort of tarmacking their driveways to make them into of, car parks? Of course, then, <laughs> then, then you are changing the, material, the, the use mm. of your property. Mm -hmm. But if, you've just happened, if it's still used mainly for residential and you're just, instead of using your own cars, you're renting out your, dry, your parking space somewhere You're parking else. your car somewhere else. Well, let someone maybe. Okay, Anthony, thanks very much indeed for that. Thank you.